Hello, Rahubat, everybody. This is a I am Hotep Jeb Mutalib Atum L, or you can just call me by my American English name, uh, George Smith. And today I, I wanted to make a quick video. <laughs> I know I always say I'm going to make a quick video and uh, usually stretches for about 20 to 25 minutes because I get excited because one thing leads to another in the law. And I want to let you guys know what I know. Well, not everything. I don't have enough time for that. But I do want to present the facts um, in a synopsis form when I get it. So, you know, synopsis just meaning a quick summary of, of what I researched or found or saw through another YouTube video. So I want to talk about, because I hear a lot of people talking about, um, oh, they're not accepting my paperwork or... You know, people going in there hot-headed and stuff and, you know, talking crap to the um, to the clerks of the court or the secretaries that just accept uh, papers or accept filings on the behalf of the court. I just wanted to read uh, the Federal Rules of Court Procedure, which I have here, and it's Rule 5D4. So and here it is right here. Let me zoom in on it. It says acceptance by the clerk. The clerk must not refuse to file a paper solely because it is not in the form prescribed by these rules or by a local rule or practice. A lot of you guys I'm hearing and I'm getting phone calls, you know, oh, you know, these people at the court, at the municipality, and we all know what municipality means, it means governmental corporation. Then they basically have a charter from the state to set up their own city. That's basically what it is. It's like uh, you getting incorporated for your business. You get, you're getting powers given to you by the state within your company. So it, it, it's a company, but you have the powers of the state. That's why corporations get away with so much. So when you go to file that paperwork, it says they can't refuse it. They can't refuse it, and they really can't refuse it solely because it is not in the form prescribed by these rules or by a local rule or practice. So basically, they cannot refuse your paperwork. And if they do, um, you hit them with this 18 USC subsection 2701, concealment, removal, or mutilation generally. <clears throat> Let's go through this. It's very important to reread all this stuff, man. If you don't know a word, look it up. Look it up and write it down or put it in a Word document like this. Uh, so uh, 18 USC subsections. I don't think it, no, actually, I'm sorry. This is 2071. Yeah, that's 2071, my bad. So uh, subsection A. Whoever willfully and unlawfully conceals, removes, mutilates, obliterates or destroys or attempts to do so or with intent to do so takes and carries away any record proceeding map book paper document or any or other thing filed or deposited with any clerk or officer of any court of the United States uh, municipalities included and state courts or in any public office or with any judicial or public officer of the United States shall be fined under this title or in prison not more than three years or both. So section B, whoever having the custody of any such record, proceeding, map, book, document, paper, or other thing, willfully and unlawfully conceals, removes, mutilates, obliterates, falsifies, or destroys the same, shall be fined under this title or in prison not more than three years or both and shall forfeit his office and be disqualified from holding any office under the United States. As used in this subsection, the term office does not include the office held by any person as a retired officer of the armed forces of the United States. And uh, I also got a case law here, United States versus Lombardo, um, volume 241, United States Reporter, page 73, decided in 1916. So, um, actually, I wasn't going to go over this, but I think it would be a good idea that we do. 
Um, you know, I like using just here. They have all the all the goodies that I like here. But we're gonna jump to a section where uh, let's see. I wanted to jump to the section where it talks about uh, let's see of course it was satisfied but what is the instant of the time it would be referred at what risk the time or delay no hold on it failed to distinguish between the beginning and completion of the thing, given the word shall. Okay. They marked the extent of the power, da, 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 whether to secure a right? that a paper shall be filed with a particular object is satisfied by the Two. Okay, I, we can bring this up later. But um, basically, um, once you file the paperwork, they have to accept it. Unless it's like, I had one instance where um, the heading on one of my affidavits for one of my clients was wrong. It was in the wrong county. And I was in the state of Virginia. And um, so I simply just corrected it. And, and he, uh, you know, he was able to file it into the court. Something like that, I could understand. But if they just don't want to take it because they want to cheat <laughs> and they think you're dumb and you don't know that they have to take it by uh, by their own statutory rules um, then they could be they could be found liable you know because they're actually breaking their statutory law and you could probably sue that person in their individual capacity um, so I would, you know, ask to speak to the supervisor or something and let them know, you know, under the federal rules of court procedures, uh, rule five, subsection D four, you have to accept my papers and you can't refuse them just based on a local rule of practice with, within the city or the county. So, you know, a lot of people, and don't go up there being hostile and shit, man. Try not to be hostile. I know some cats can't help it. They're so frustrated with, you know, like child support or somebody got to lean on them, their house, you know, their car or, or on them or their social security number. Um, be it, you know, just go up there and state the law, man. The law is on your side, as you can see. You just have to read it. And if they don't comply with this, then you hit them with the 18 U.S.C. subsection 2071. Concealment, removal, or mutilation generally. So if they try to hide, basically this is like hiding evidence. You got public officers that are trying to hide evidence, trying to destroy it, trying to say, oh yeah, we can't, we can't fight it. We can't find it. They destroy it. They mutilate it or attempts or attempts to do so. Even if they attempt to do it, they're breaking the law. So yeah, you just, you just got to read this stuff, man. But anyway, I'm keeping this video short, like I said. Um, if you want to reach me, you could reach me at a. Uh, I'll type it here for you. Uh, I am Hotep Jed at GoldenMoreServices.com. I'll pause for a second so everybody can write that down. Um, actually, it's supposed to be advocates. <laughs> You can hit me up directly at I am Hotep Jed, but Advocates is where um, you're supposed to initially contact me about any legal education because we are not attorneys and we're not going to represent you in court. But what we are going to do is give you the tools and the mental concepts tools, and uh, we're also going to talk about where your heart's at that we that's how we're going to help you and we're not going to bullshit you we're going to let you know the facts um this is an article i, I wrote on our uh, website you know at goldenmoreservices.com right here 
and understanding jurisdiction. And I wrote it, you know, x rail to myself. You know, that's my American name, but this is my uh, Nuwabian Moorish name of Yamasee, of the Yamasee tribe in Georgia. So, um, a lot of goodies up here for you guys. Um, the attorney section is done. These are kind of like uh, this kind of, you know, we were testing it. That part's done. Uh, I don't think the contact form is actually sending me. So I got I got to fix that pretty soon, y'all. But besides that, you know, it's all good to go. We're here to help, um, you know, with, um, with trust law, with, uh, you know, child support, um, estate planning, and all kind of stuff, man. I'm actually looking at um, offshore bank accounts right now also in my free time. So, um, yeah, I don't have a number for this uh, nonprofit yet, but I will soon. Uh, until then, um, stay strong, stay get your knowledge about the law because, you know, these municipalities, the counties are the worst. They're just railroading people, making billions in divorce and in child support, and who knows what else they're making billions of dollars off of, and they're ruining your life in the goddamn process. So if you want your life back, you have to get your knowledge back. You know what I mean? So, you know, on my website, it says, you know, I have a, a, a legal maxim that says, if a man be deceived, then let him be deceived. You know, um, they don't care if you're deceived. It's up to you to get your knowledge up to kind of crack the code. So when you read stuff, you got to crack the code. But anyway, I'm making this too long, man. Um, I will see you guys soon. Uh, Wadu, Shalom. Uh, peace and blessings to everybody. And I'm out.